Cape Cod Canal The Cape Cod Canal is an artificial waterway in the U.S. state of Massachusetts connecting Cape Cod Bay in the north to Buzzards Bay in the south, and is part of the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway. The approximately canal traverses the narrow neck of land joining Cape Cod to the state's mainland. Most of its length follows tidal rivers widen to and deepen to at mean low water, shaving off the journey around the Cape for its approximately 14,000 annual users. Most of the canal is located in Bourne, Massachusetts, but its northeastern terminus is in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Scusset Beach State Reservation lies near the canal's north entrance, the Massachusetts Maritime Academy near its south. A swift running current changes direction every six hours and can reach during the receding ebb tide. The waterway is maintained by the United States Army Corps of Engineers and has no toll fees. It is spanned by the Cape Cod Canal Railroad Bridge, the Bourne Bridge, and the Sagamore Bridge. Traffic lights at either end govern the approach of vessels over. The canal is occasionally used by whales and dolphins, including endangered North Atlantic right whales, these can cause closure of the canal. Construction of a canal was first considered by Miles Standish of the Plymouth Colony in 1623, and the Pilgrims scouted the low-lying stretch of land between Thmanamet and Scusset Rivers for potential routes. William Bradford established the Aptixid Trading Post in 1627 at the portage between the rivers. Trade prospered with the American Indians of Narragansett Bay and the Dutch of New Netherland, and this was a major factor enabling the Pilgrims to pay off their indebtedness. In 1697, the General Court of Massachusetts considered the first formal proposal to build the canal but took no action. In 1717, a canal was created in Orleans, Massachusetts called Jeremiah's Gutter, which spanned a narrower portion of the Cape some distance to the east, but it only remained active until the late 1800s. More energetic planning with surveys took place repeatedly in 1776, 1791, 1803, 1818, 1824 to 1830, and 1860. None of these efforts came to fruition. The first attempts at actually building a canal did not take place until the late 19th century. Earlier planners either ran out of money or were overwhelmed by the project's size. The engineers finally decided which route to take through the hillsides by connecting and widening the Manomet and Scusset rivers. On June 22, 1909, construction finally began for a working canal under the direction of August Belmont Jr.'s Boston. Cape Cod and New York Canal Company using designs by engineer William Barclay Parsons. There were many problems that the canal engineers encountered, such as huge boulders underwater. Divers were hired to blow them up, but the effort slowed dredging. Another problem was cold winter storms, which forced the engineers to stop dredging altogether on wait for spring. Nevertheless, the canal opened on a limited basis on July 29, 1914 and it was completed in 1916. The privately owned Chul Canal had a maximum width of and a maximum depth of, and it took a somewhat difficult route from Finney Harbor at the head off Buzzards Bay. Several accidents occurred due to the narrow channel and navigation difficulty, and these limited traffic and tarnished the canal's reputation. Toll revenues failed to meet investors' expectations as a result, despite shortening the trade route from New York City to Boston by the German U-boat surfaced off Orleans, Massachusetts on July 21, 1918 and shelled the tugboat Perth Amboy and her string of four barges. The Director General of the United States Railroad Administration took over jurisdiction and operation of the canal four days later under a presidential proclamation. The United States Army Corps of Engineers redredged the channel to deep while it remained under government control until 1920. In 1928, the government purchased the canal for $11.4 million as a free public waterway, and $21 million was spent between 1935 and 1940 increasing the canal's width to and its depth to. As a result, it became the widest sea-level canal of its time. The southern entrance to the canal was rebuilt for direct access from Buzzards Bay rather than through Finney Harbor. Before construction began, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology built a huge-scale model off-canal to study the hydraulic effects of tidal currents on the enlarged and rerouted canal. During World War II, shipping again used the canal to avoid creeks marring the U-boats patrolling offshore. It was protected by coastal artillery batteries at the Sagamore Hill Military Reservation at the northern entrance and the Butler Point Military Reservation at the southern entrance. The artillery was never fired in defense of the canal. 
The Mystic Steamship Company's Collier USS Stephen R. Jones was grounded and sank in the canal on June 28, 1942. Shipping was routed around Cape Cod, and one diverted ship was the Liberty ship SS Alexander Macomb, which was torpedoed by the Creeks Marina's U 215 on July 3 with a loss of 10 lives. The canal reopened on July 31 after the wrecked Stephen R. Jones was removed with the help of 17 tons of dynamite. The canal is used extensively by recreational and commercial vessels. Service roads on both sides of the canal provide access for fishing and are heavily used at inline skaters, bicyclists, and walkers. Several parking areas are maintained at access points. Bourne Scenic Park is leased by the Corps of Engineers to the Town of Bourne Recreation Authority for use as a tent and RV campground adjacent to the canal. The Army Corps of Engineers maintains the Cape Cod Canal Visitor Center which introduces visitors to the history features, and operation of the canal. Features include a retired U.S. Army Corps of Engineers patrol boat, a 46-seat theater showing continuous DVD presentations on canal history, canal flora and fauna, real-time radar and camera images of the waterway, and a variety of interactive exhibits. Corps Park Rangers staff the center and provide free public programs on a variety of subjects. The visitor center is open seasonally from May to October and admission is free. It is located on Moffat Drive in Sandwich near the canal's east end. A second seasonally staffed center is at the Herring Run along Scenic Highway. Scusset Beach State Reservation lies just north of the east end of the canal and offers beach facilities as well as tent and RV camping. A trail there leads to Sagamore Hill, once an Indian meeting ground and the site of the World War II coastal fortification. Borndale Hills Trail extends along the north side of the canal from Bourne Scenic Park Campground to the Herring Run. The trail includes a self guided loop which interprets the canal's historic and natural features. A spoof became popular during the late 20th century concerning a fictitious tunnel, allegedly built in the 1960s under the Cape Cod Canal. It came into popular usage in Massachusetts as a commentary on the severe traffic entering and exiting Cape Cod during the summer months. Since 1994, decals have been sold in shops around the Cape as popular souvenirs purporting to be permits allowing the bearer to use the tunnel. The popular attire of these permits briefly led to a lawsuit among several different sellers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.